a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Drunken lots, get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. Ah, oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hurt, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See? I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and, uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. Rat that ache and drove them and throw his poop as well. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all you lads and lasses at eleven o'clock you stop for five short seconds. Remember, Remember Charlie Moss. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! He must have been a man of all the salt and all the king. Come to his places, we shall always sing. Look what he's done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Well, bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till he beer, beer, beer. A little remote, the bushel of hopes you steal around with your stick. The kind of lubrication to make your engines tick. Fifty pints of Walpody will keep away the quacks. It's only eight pence, eight penny, and only six in tax. One, two, three, four. Five. Hey! He must have been the admiral of the Sultan or a king. Unto his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till the beer, 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 till the beer, beer, beer. The Lord of Charlie Moss! Well, for someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you are afraid, you can tell me. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further, but you can tell me. That rat is not going to kill itself. Get down there and earn a meal for once.
Quest complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? Ah! Ah! The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Well done. More like medium rare. Now we'll have another go at him with this. You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any fool? I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend key. What? What are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the key, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu key. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. That was useful, at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control. But they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command keys. For example, press the aggressive key to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Charge! Ah, 